Hello, welcome back to the Tech Plug channel. Today we're going to talk about outdoor patio speakers and why they are a must-have for your outdoor entertainment area. Are you tired of carrying around your Bluetooth speaker every time you want to entertain your friends and family outdoors? Well, you're not alone. Outdoor patio speakers are an excellent permanent solution that will make your life so much easier. With a good pair of patio speakers, you can impress your friends and get excited to spend more time outdoors. But, it's not just about entertaining your guests. Patio speakers can also make mundane tasks like gardening much more enjoyable as you get lost in the sound of your favorite tracks playing in the background. So, if you're looking for a way to enhance your outdoor living experience, patio speakers are the way to go. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know about patio speakers, including what makes them different from traditional outdoor speakers. We'll also share with you our top picks for the best patio speakers across all budgets. And, we'll run through the essential factors to consider when buying patio speakers, from sound quality to required amplification, and even how certain speakers may affect your home's aesthetics. So, if you're ready to take your outdoor entertainment game to the next level, stay tuned, and let's dive in. All the links mentioned in this review video are in the description below. At number 5 we have the JBL Control 23-1 Compact Indoor Outdoor Speaker. JBL is one of our favorite speaker brands, and this model offers some interesting features, including a special mounting system. The JBL Control 23-1 is JBL's smallest flagship patio speaker designed to focus on affordability, durability, and compact size. It's sold as a pair and is available in black or white for installation both indoors and outdoors. Each speaker features a 3 inches low-frequency driver with a half-inch tweeter, making it capable of delivering a decent amount of throw, which is especially useful if you need to cover a backyard or a large patio area. The woofer is constructed with woven fiberglass, ensuring maximum durability, an essential feature for outdoor speakers. Although the Control 23-1 doesn't have a particularly big bass sound, the speaker is warm with a rich low-end response. The balance across the frequency is decent, with vocals sounding upfront and present. The half-inch tweeter performs well, offering good intelligibility. If you are looking for a pair of speakers for your outdoor TV, then a pair of Control 23-1 speakers would be an excellent choice. For loud music and parties, you might find you'll have to drive the speakers too hard and may encounter distortion. These speakers do best at a low to medium volume as background music. The Control 23-1 has a power handling of 10 watts to 50 watts at 8 ohms. For amplification, we recommend the Pioneer Bluetooth Audio Component Receiver. The Pioneer is a stereo amplifier delivering 45 watts per channel into 8 ohms, making it a perfect match for the Control 23-1. The Pioneer offers several inputs, including 4x RCA and Bluetooth. There is also an RCA line out and subwoofer out. In addition, the amplifier features a built-in M FM tuner. JBL doesn't recommend specific speaker wires. However, don't use cable thinner than an 18 gauge. For excessively long cable runs 60 feet plus, use a 12 gauge wire to install the JBL Control 23-1. One of the best features of the Control 23-1 is JBL's trademarked Invisi Ball wall mounting system. Unlike most wall mount speakers where the bracket is located on the sides, the Control 23-1 has a rear mounting bracket. This means the speaker appears as if it is floating on the wall for a cleaner aesthetic. This is especially appealing for commercial installations where aesthetics are as important as sound. The speaker can also be mounted using a standard U bracket. Only the Invisi Ball mounting system is supplied with the Control 23-1. The standard U-bracket and ceiling mount Invisi Ball adapter are available as extra purchase options. The JBL Control 23-1 offers great value for money, durability, and compact size, making it perfect for installations where larger speakers may not fit. However, there are a couple of cons to consider. Firstly, no standard U-bracket is provided, and no cables are included. Secondly, while the Control 23-1 is weatherproof and capable of handling extreme temperatures, wet and cold, it's not recommended to install it in direct exposure to the element. At number 4 we have the Sonos Outdoor Architectural Speakers. These speakers are the real deal when it comes to premium sound quality, and if you're someone who values high-quality audio, then you're going to want to stick around for this one. First off, let's talk about the sound quality of these speakers. The Sonos Outdoor Architectural Speakers are designed to deliver crystal clear sound, and when paired with the Sonos Amplifier, you're going to get an incredible listening experience. You can crank up the volume on these bad boys, and the sound quality won't degrade, which is something that you don't get with a lot of budget speakers out there. 
Now, let's get into the pros and cons of these speakers. On the pro side, we have the great quality sound, the lightweight design, and the balanced sound signature. On the downside, we have the fact that these speakers are pretty expensive. If you're not familiar with Sonos, they're a premium audio brand that's been around since 2002, and they're known for producing high-quality products that don't come cheap. One thing we really like about these speakers is their weight. At only 8 pounds, these speakers are lighter than other patio outdoor speakers that offer the same size drivers. This doesn't necessarily impact performance, but it does make the installation process a bit easier. The Sonos Outdoor Architectural Speakers feature a 6.5 inches polypropylene woofer for the low end and mids, and a 1 inch soft dome tweeter for the highs. The sound signature is fairly balanced, and that's where Sonos really shines. They've developed a sound signature that's accurate and vibrant without being too bass heavy or pushing too much treble. If you want to get the best out of these speakers, you're going to want to pair them with a high quality amplifier, and the Sonos amp is a popular choice. This is an expensive amplifier, but it makes sense to pair high-end speakers with a high-end amplifier. Finally, these speakers are rated at 8 ohms with a sensitivity of 89 dB at 1 meter, and hold a frequency response range of 55 Hz, 20 khc. They're also lightweight, making installation a bit easier. These Sonos Outdoor Architectural Speakers are probably the closest you're going to get when it comes to patio speakers. Just be prepared to put aside a fairly big budget. At number 3 we have the Bose 251 Environmental Outdoor Speakers. These speakers are a bit of a classic and it's hard to compile any patio speaker list without including them. First things first, let's talk about the build quality of these speakers. The Bose 251 is known for its robust durability, with reports online from customers who even had these speakers survive hurricane. The sound quality is impressive for 5.2 inches drivers, and they have an impressive bass response for such a small speaker. Now, some audiophiles might criticize Bose products for not being true or flat. While this might be true, Bose products always offer an exciting listening experience. The Bose 251 environmental outdoor speakers are no different. These speakers are powerful, with a sound profile that makes them fun to listen to. Plus, they can be used as both indoor and outdoor speakers, which means you can have one speaker for installation throughout your home or indoor and outdoor entertainment spaces. The 251 Environmental is sold as a pair, with each speaker featuring a 5.25 inches low frequency driver with two 2.5 inches Bose Twiddler. The Twiddler is essentially a high, mid driver with a wider frequency range than your average tweeter. In addition, the Twiddlers are mounted in an articulated array. This means each Twiddler driver fires in slightly different directions to the left and right, widening the speaker's dispersion. An array of this kind is especially important for outdoor and entertainment areas where the listening position is not necessarily one focused area. The low end produced by the 251 Environmental is incredible, with the 5.25 inches driver performing exceptionally well, producing a bass response that sounds like it's coming from a bigger speaker. The tweeters also perform to a very high standard with a clear mid-range which makes vocals and instruments present. The 251 Environmental has a pleasant high-frequency response offering excellent detail and clarity without hurting the ears at high volumes. Now, when it comes to amplification, cabling, and installation, the 251 Environmental has a power handling of 10 watts to 100 watts into 6 ohms per channel. However, the speakers are compatible with 4 8 ohm amplifiers and receivers. The best amplifier to pair with your 251 Environmental is the Bose Sound Touch Saw 5 amplifier. The Sound Touch Saw 5 is a stereo amplifier that allows for 2 XRCA, an 8th inch aux, Bluetooth, and WIFI connectivity. The Sound Touch Saw 5 is also compatible with Alexa, making it perfect for any modern home entertainment system. You can even purchase the 251 Environment and Sound Touch Saw 5 with speaker wire as a complete bundle. Bose recommends using a minimum of 18-gauge speaker wire for connecting the 251 Environmental. The 251 Environmental comes with mounting brackets which are cleverly designed to allow for a one-man installation. Once the bracket is mounted in position, the speaker can be placed in the bracket, which cradles the 251 Environmental while you adjust the angle before tightening the speaker in place. Bose recommends placing the 251 Environmental a minimum of 7 feet apart for optimum stereo imaging. For the 251 environmental articulated array to work, the speakers must be mounted in a vertical position. It's also important to keep in mind that the speakers are designed to withstand snow, rain, salt. At number 2, we have the Klipshaw 650 Outdoor Speaker. 
If you're in the market for some great sounding patio speakers, this might just be the one for you. For around $300 you'll get a product that not only produces quality sound but also produces a whole lot of volume. The 95 dB sensitivity of the AW650 makes it stand out from the competition. Now, Klipsch is known for producing high-quality speakers, and the AW650 is no exception. It's one of the best outdoor speakers on the market, and it comes in both black and white options with paintable enclosures and grills to customize the color of your speakers to match the color of your home. Let's talk about the design and sound of the AW650. It's sold as a pair of outdoor speakers suitable for installation both inside and outside the home. Each speaker features a 6 and half inches low-frequency driver with a 1-inch titanium dome tweeter. The AW650 has a wide 90 degrees by 90 degrees dispersion, which means the speaker will perform exactly the same whether mounted vertically or horizontally. One thing you're guaranteed with Klipsch is great sound, and the AW650 is no different. These outdoor speakers sound exceptional with a typical Klipsch sound profile. The bass is solid, with a decent punch and definition in the response. The mid-range is balanced perfectly, with vocals clear and pronounced. The tweeter produces a brilliantly crisp sound that adds to the overall clarity of the speaker. Even at high volumes, the AW650 never distorts or becomes harsh. It can only be described as a smooth buttery sound and yet still manages to provide a sensitivity of 95 dB. Now, let's talk about amplification, cabling, and installation. The AW650 has a power handling of 85W to 340 watts peak, which gives you a significant amount of power to play with. Klipsch recommends using a minimum of 16-gauge speaker wire when installing the AW650. For best results and superior sound quality, it's best to go with a 12-gauge speaker cable, especially if you are planning long cable runs for your AW650 installation. The AW650 is designed to withstand extreme temperatures, salt air, direct sunlight, and even rain. The speaker enclosure has a drainage system to prevent water buildup. As always, we recommend you still install the AW650 in a position that's sheltered from the elements. This will prolong the life of the speakers. The AW650 comes with C-brackets for mounting the speakers, and all the components, including the speaker enclosures, are paintable. Overall, the Klipsch AW650 outdoor speaker is an absolute steal for around $300 for a pair of premium speakers. If you consider yourself somewhat of an audiophile, you'll genuinely appreciate the Klipsch AW650. These outdoor speakers sound incredible, delivering a natural, accurate sound profile. And with quality parts, these speakers will likely last longer than most competing outdoor speakers. Finally coming in at number 1 is the Polk Audio Atrium 8 SDI Outdoor Speaker. The Atrium 8 SDI is the flagship speaker from the Polk Audio Atrium Outdoor Speaker range. It's built tough to withstand extreme temperatures, salt fog, UV, and even heavy rain. Plus, it comes with a 5-year warranty on both the cabinet and speaker drivers. One of the best things about the Atrium 8 SDI is the sound quality. It's the largest of the Atrium range and brings a lot of volume thanks to its large and efficient drivers. The installation is also super easy, so you won't have to spend hours setting it up. The speaker itself is sold as a single speaker and can be used on its own or as a pair. The Atrium 8 SDI features a single 6 half inch low frequency driver with two one tweeters. The tweeters are mounted in an array to maximize vertical and horizontal dispersion. On the rear of the Atrium 8 SDI is a Polk Audio Power Port which works with the low-frequency driver to maximize the bass response. The result is a deep, punchy bass sound that can easily fill most patios or indoor entertainment areas. The speaker performs well in the mid-range delivering excellent vocal clarity. The tweeter array gives the Atrium 8 SDI a nice sizzle in the high frequency and a decent amount of throw to project sound across your backyard. Now, when it comes to amplification, cabling, and installation, there are a few things to keep in mind. The Atrium 8 SDI has a power handling of 10 watts to 125 watts at 8 ohms, so you'll need a fairly powerful amp to bring it to life. You can go with a smaller amp between 10 watts to 50 watts to run these speakers, but then you may as well purchase a smaller and cheaper speaker. For cable runs longer than 30 feet, use a 14 gauge, and past 50 feet, go with a 12 gauge cable. The Atrium 8 SDI can be mounted horizontally, or vertically, depending on the speaker position and area you want to cover. The unique C-bracket makes installation easy for a one-man DIY job. Overall, the Polk Audio Atrium 8 SDI outdoor speaker is a powerful outdoor party system. A pair of these outdoor speakers can deliver up to 250 watts with excellent bass and clarity. The Atrium series offers five different sizes in black and white, so you can find the perfect fit for your needs.
The Atrium 8 SDI costs just over $170 for a single speaker, but this is larger and more powerful than your average outdoor speaker. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for pricing and availability. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.